Hey y'all, hey, welcome back. My name is Bambi. To those who are new, come on in. And this morning we are taking a road trip. So I'm headed to Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm visiting the at home superstore to take back some pillows that I purchased in a previous shop with me and haul video. And so the pillows, they just didn't fit my vibe. So I'm just gonna take those back. And of course, Home Goods is next door. So I haven't been in there in a while. So I'll look in there, take a peek, see what they have new. And of course, get me some good food. So let's hop on the road. Okay, full disclaimer. This video is being shot by my new camera, the Sony ZV-1. So I'm still working out some of the settings and stabilization of my hand because keep in mind, I'm going from filming with an iPhone to this camera. So be kind to your girl, extend me some grace. <laughs> After returning the pillows, of course, I browsed through the aisles just to see if anything new had been set out since my previous visit last month. Unfortunately, in the decorative accent area, there had not been. So I came over here to the garden section, which they moved a little bit towards the front of the store. And I saw these beautiful terrazzo spheres. And I've seen them trending here lately. And I just thought they were so cute. And then the planners as well were very, very cute. They have like a hollow in the tops and the bottoms, but I can easily see in a DIY on these and like create maybe a stool or a side table. As usual, the rug selection was pretty extensive. Some of these I saw in the previous season, but some of them were fairly new. So I decided to browse through each of them just to see what they were giving. I am currently looking for a rug for my bedroom area initially. I decided against it, but now I want one. So I'm looking for one that's a little bit lighter in tone to bring out the curtains in the room because I do have multiple pieces of darker furniture in there.
Next Stop Home Goods. So for this location, normally when I come here, it's first thing in the morning. I mean, literally when the doors first open. Unfortunately, I was running a little bit behind on this day. OMG, I totally regret it, guys. There were so many people in this store. Not only was it difficult to film, how, while I was filming, there were people reaching over me, <laughs> reaching across the camera, and I'm just like, seriously, rudeness? So a lot of the items that I'm showing here, I don't get the full price because I'm unable to pick all of them up like I normally do. However, most of the items were, again, I felt outdated in the store. There were things everywhere like this store was completely out of control and this is the first time i've ever seen it like this I was surprised to see that they had a lot of decorative links in the store normally or shall I say in the past coming in here especially when you're looking for them they were nowhere to be found but I will say the links of this size and color you can find them in Marshalls for about half the price they were $29.99 in here and I remember getting mine for like $15, $16.99 out of Marshalls Despite the sun, you know people sat on it anyway, right? <laughs> Hard-headed, but this sofa is absolutely beautiful. It is such an eye catcher. I want to say the color is like a pure white, but I definitely love the construction of the sofa. I feel like it's a reasonably priced given everything right now and all the inflation, but it's very long, very comfy. This is still the year of the green tones. I absolutely love this tone of olive for this accent chair. This is another beautiful sofa. I don't know what color this is, maybe kind of a taupe, but it was also very comfortable. especially love this piece. I can easily see it as an accent in any room, especially at the foot of a bed.
these benches were super cute. You know, of course, my eye gravitated to the black one. But even though it's so simple, I feel like it would easily be functional in any space, like the foyer area, maybe at the foot of a bed or an entryway. And I thought it was a reasonably priced. So, definitely a beauty. Now, I'm not a wicker or rattan fanatic, but this setup was really super cute. I could see it easily outside on the front porch, patio, in the backyard. It's definitely a statement, and I thought that it looked very comfortable. I didn't sit on it because, honey, that platform under there was not stable. But another disclaimer, here in Target, same as home goods, guys. So freaking congested with people. Hey, made it to the end. 
As usual, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you aren't already, if you enjoy things home decor and lifestyle. Also, turn on those notification bells so that you don't miss any future content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.